Hey everybody, this is Norm from Norm's Rare Guitars. I've got Frank Stallone, Frankie Sullivan from the group Survivor, all of the Eye of the Tiger, Mark Agnesi from the uh, Guitar, Guitar of the Day, day. Hey. and then we got me. And, uh, you know, we've That's had people sure. writing in questions, you know, to ask Frank and to ask stuff like that, you know, because he generally creates a firestorm. And I just want to tell you, keep your kids away from this video because it could get a little live. Yeah. yeah. So uh, here's the first question that was written for Frank. This is from Robert from Norfolk, Virginia. That's his uh, first mistake. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Not a good start. Uh, uh, sorry for you guys. Okay, sorry. Anyhow, it says, Frank Stallone, why do you always got to act like an asshole? Why do you got to treat like that guy, you know, that Christian Bame, that nice kid who was in here playing nice, giving him a hard time? Why do you always got to act like an asshole? Okay. First of all, I was very nice to Christian because I know his father. And I was very complimentary. I say he's a good looking kid. He's playing. It's just that I was I was real hyper that day. I think I just came back from the shooting range. Is that the day I was taking my sunglasses off and on? Yes. yes. And yeah, everyone yeah. thought, yeah, and they yeah. said I was a speed freak and meth freak because I kept taking my glasses off. Well, so I was just hyped up. I said, I You hit your head as you walked through the door. Well, I hit my head as was, I walked through the door. I was very nice to But Christian. anyhow, he says, Why you got to be like such an asshole? That doesn't sound like so much of That's not nice me. No. Yeah. Well, no, I they, actually made this up. This has nothing to do with it. I just wanted to get There's actually nothing on there. I just wanted to get him wound up. I know. Then nobody wrote, there's no Robert from Norfolk. No, the, I just the, had to just the bone get him. of contention yeah, is, said that's the no, the thing. bone of contention is, you know, I, I watch, you know, Mark all the time on, you know, Guitar of the Day, and sometimes he brings out cool guitars, and sometimes it's shit. I mean, sometimes it's just like, you know, Norm's just You're trying to unload. you stock. Oh, come on. <laughs> the Longhorn guitar. Okay, so... And so it was Susanna Hoffs playing the little Rickenbacker. I said, she knows three open chords in first position. How the fuck does she get a signature guitar? I don't know. Who do you sleep with to uh, get that? Frank, why don't you answer that? Why don't you tell me. It's and so the guy goes, well, not many guys that can play a signature. I go, really? George Benson, Johnny Smith, uh, you know, Les Paul, hello, uh, Stevie Vai. You know, and I'm not Her breaking popularity at the time, and, yeah. and a good manager that goes out and makes a deal with Rickenbacker, and she gets her own monologue. It's marketing. It's marketing. It's PR marketing. It has nothing to do with playing. So you got to get off that. So it has nothing to do with playing. Well, it but does. there are great players that do have their signature, like Lukather has a signature. Yeah, Lou's yeah. got a signature. Yeah, and he can play. But no, so everyone so you ragged play on me. A Susanna Hoff's model. Like you were saying, are you right? crazy? It would go with that pink outfit that you were. I could put Susanna Hoff's guitar yeah, yeah. in my back pocket. She's this big. I was like her her Veloce is playing a Rickenbacker. I mean, it's like you know, well, tattoo from Fantasy Island. Yeah, it's like tattoo from Fantasy Island. But well, Lennon's wasn't that big either. No, but I was the only goofing on Suzanne Hodge. That, yeah, he was. Yeah, that's I was. No, I they were a good group, and it was just one of those days. I just got up on the wrong side, but but I got maliciously attacked by one guy. You know, he went after everyone in my family, blah, 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 blah. So if that it went did? on, on. Oh, but I've had a few on Mark saying. No, this so, is all on my page. This is all page. in my comment oh, section. Yeah, of those like well, Mark's he's fans. He's got to worry yeah, about Mark's driving <laughs> home. Right? Listen, all those guys are a bunch of from. fat dorks that sit, live in their mother's house eating ring dings, sitting at the computer. Because I offered like me. Said, <laughs> I said, one guy goes, yeah, you wouldn't say. I said, bring your ass down here. I'll wrap that Stratocaster around your head. Mr. Fucking uh, uh, this Mr. Poppin' Fresh. The, uh, the no, uh, Norman's Recordars takes no responsibility for anything Frank Stallone says. No if you want to kill him, please do it outside the store. No, here's the thing. Here's we have a nice thing. big parking lot. They attacked Mark. Because Mark they played Mark? really shitty one day. He had oh. that long horn. <laughs> No, it wasn't his fault. It's Mark. He can't help it. It's, 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 it's a bad guitar. Did they attack him? Did they attack him? It's, it's called trying to make a silk purse out of a sound's ear. That sounds like, it was a Dan Electro Longhorn hollow body, which no one ever wanted. Yeah, no. And Mark was playing, but the thing would not stay in tune. Bad tone on the end. <laughs> hey, Mark, how about tuning? Really? How about kick guys? I told him just the opposite. I said, that's one of the best you ever sounded. It bet. And Mark's a great play player, man. Too, man. Mark can play his ass off, but they they, they turned on him, man. But he was pretty shitty that day, right? <laughs> and that's why I'm coming out with a new pick. Oh, that's called the you. dick. No, this is actually Mark's pick. Mark yes. the dick pick. Right? I'm going to get one of these for stage. 
and I'll write like got. Throw them out into the I'll audience. write like like got got. All there. right, I have there some go. questions here. Oh, right, questions yeah, are coming. You got some questions. Thank God. All right, let's okay. go. What's each player's favorite guitar? There you go. Les Paul. Stratocaster. Shitacaster? Really? If I got a pick mm. one, that's where I'm You going. know, I'm a Fender dealer. I sell a lot of Fr Stratocasters your, around that, here. Yeah, they're all made in Japan, unfortunately. Oh, get out of here. How many Stratocasters have you bought for me? Uh, quite a, not, not many, mostly less Paul's. I that's thought. not saying a lot for your intelligence. Mark, you what do you think? You 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 Mark doesn't get? play Stratocaster. I'm somewhere in between a Strat. I'm sorry, I'm somewhere in between a Les Paul and a Telly. Would but be Mark's one really other. a Les Paul guy. I'd be more wait, 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 inclined wait, wait. We to all are. Yeah. We're all, all Les Paul guys. Paul that's why you've got like 50 of them. <laughs> hey, we're about all guitars, like the All Guitar Network. It's about all guitars. That's a good point. Oh my I don't know if I have it. How do you have a favorite guitar? You know, I mean, it's there's so many great it's impossible. Guitars. You got a question for me? I hope it's a good one. Well, no, there's a, another Not a question. One. If you did have a signature model, what would it be? Yeah, I would be an air guitar if it was my vibrator. guitar. If you heard me play, you'd know yeah. why. You know. It'd be a vibrator from the pleasure. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah, it'd be a butt plug. <laughs> it'd be a butt plug model yeah. like you. <laughs> like, honey, I need to plug this in somewhere. Sorry, I just got a young child. Sorry about sorry, this, sorry. guys. You can't, you can't bunch of animals Animal together back. here. All right, so what's the answer? Uh, who's asking? Are there people, people actually asking questions? Asking. Live. Yeah, it's you're live. Right. You know what? It is live. I would have yes, to put a brain on it, and we'd have to. I'd have to kind of come up with something that was vintage, but actually sounded real good. That was made with nitrocellular slacker. Um, I mean. There's Les Pauls, there's Strats, but everybody's already done like Les Pauls and Strats and stuff. I'd have to put a brain on it, really come up with something cool. I mean, we did, like when Fender first um, started their custom shop, we actually had a bunch of guitars that were made for Norm's Rare Guitars, and they said Norm's Rare Guitars on the back, specially made, and they were really high quality. Did they sell? They did sell. They all sold. No one bought them. I tried to sell you one, but you. you yeah, but at the, the back on the plate it has like Norm's logo with the palm tree. It's like. Uh, no, it did not. Yes, it did. It, it had Norman's a logo, logo that said "Custom Made for Norm's Rare Guitars." There's no palm tree, but I have had a couple of guitars that have had palm trees on them. And stuff. We also did one of the very first Les Paul reissues. I was involved in doing it with Leo's Music from Oakland. And then we had our own that had NRG in the back I remember that were killer ones. top guitars, sold the hell out of them. Had some Rickenbackers made especially for yeah, us. Yeah, but were... you know what, man? I have a problem with Fender Custom Shop. It's cut on a table saw. It's not like a brain. It's not like this. This is a crafted piece of art. Well, it's yeah, cut on a jigsaw. <laughs> I mean, it's a guy who goes, well, it's made. Cut. What's custom? It's a bolt on that cut on a table saw with a guy going, okay, so I took this here, okay, man? No, no, no. There's, 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 there's no art. There's there no are. art with the telecast. There, there's Tony movie. Montana. There's it's a Tony Montana, Montana special thing. You are. compare it, this is art. Well, this, this is, is art. This yeah. is at its finest. This right? is like, this is sound that, man. This is like, Said baby, do my buster. Said my baby, cool it down, go that cat right on. Now that's a guitar, baby. Now I gotta tell you something. You gotta take this guy seriously. He's one of the great singers, and he's a really talented guy. He he's a complete fucking nut. I know. But he is he one is. of the most talented guys I know. If you go Thank get you, to Norm. see him live, that's he puts cool. on a tremendous show. Great singer, great songwriter. Yeah. And an excellent guitar player when we he's not fun. trying to be BB King, does any. Well, then I'd be a BB. Uh, I don't swing. know. Yeah, yeah. Well, and Frankie, you know, Frankie and I were putting together, I'm putting together a tour. It's, it's, it's very original. It's called the Music and Movie Tour because we have both written many, many songs for huge, huge movies. And I think it's going to be something fantastic because you have 75 minutes of hit records from big movies. Well, you've got Rocky Three, Rocky Four. You got Karate Kid, you got B with Rambo, the Staying Alive. So we're going to do a three thing, a, a piece thing. And so I think it would be fantastic. Well, I think at least two or three people will show up to that. Yeah. Well, After he told me my Mark, guitars are shit, I yeah. got to give these guys a I want you to do a custom shop guitar. No, I think Mark's fans won't show up. But Mark's fans on a whole, the ones that are really cool to me when I get nutty are the ones from Britain because they got a sixth sense of humor. Oh, yeah, Frank's brilliant. 
the nastier I get, they like yeah, they it. they got they have that. It's thing. like the guy sitting home eating ring dings in front of the computer. <laughs> hey man, you're like an asshole. Your brother's rich. I said, why you blow me? Will you? <laughs> I mean, no, seriously. But Mark's most of the guys. I mean, I I like guitar lovers. We we are guitar lovers. We're freaks. We're it's like heroin. I don't need another guitar. Would when you I started, oh, that's terrible. When I played, people said, "How many guitars you?" I said, "One." It was a Telecaster. I didn't have a case for it. In the winter in New Jersey, I'd wrap it in a blanket, and you know, if I got drunk or loaded, I would leave it in my trunk overnight in snow, and I'd take it out the next day. It was in tune. What do you mean by drunk yeah. or loaded? <laughs> Just yeah, exactly what, what I said. Drunk well, you know, or, or maybe stop <laughs> off at Groupie's place, forgot. Like you didn't care, but the guitar would be in the trunk. It's like. Snowing, it's like Chicago weather, and you go to a gig the next day, it's like in tune. So Telecasters are bulletproof. I bought a, I bought a guitar as a Stratocaster from somebody who actually went to jail for three years. They impounded the car, and in the trunk of this car were three Stratocasters. I bought. That's why he went to prison. I he bought all three of them, and there's there. One of them was in perfect tune. This is three years impounded no, in tough. the trunk. In the trunk. Yeah. And it's back east. So I mean, you're pretty summer, bulletproof. Winter. Yeah. A yeah. Fender guitar is the bar guitar. The Telecaster is, if you have to get out it quick is. and like take someone's head off, the Telecaster is the one to do it. Yeah, you could beat somebody to death when you, you go up and play. Pound nails during the day. Yeah. Pound nails yeah. with it. How many bad yeah. Fender necks have you seen, really? Not really. What's your favorite, Mark? I mean, you know, you play a lot of guitars. Uh, I like it. It's really hard. It's really hard to say. Depends Mark on what you're trying guitar. to do. I've got you like the that luxury of playing, playing a lot of right? stuff. Mark, you <laughs> played some of that. The choral sitar is almost as good as me playing the choral sitar, which was. I have been called heavy-handed, and they're not wrong. I, I, I have a, I have an aggressive attack, let's say. So I like guitars that can take it. I, you know, the <coughs> longer scale, short scale guitars don't work for me. So Jaguars, the small Rickenbacker guitars, no. Mustangs, all Bird that stuff. Land. I can't keep it in tune no. for a verse and a yeah. chorus. I need something that's full scale length. I need something I can put big strings on. I love when Mark plays. Like, sometimes he plays songs. And you know, because I kind of miss the 80s. He that he's younger play. than us. Yeah, he'll but he play plays him. like he'll some play these, and those yeah. guys go, man, I love Danzig. Like, who the fuck is that? You know, I don't know who these guys are. You know what's are. amazing to me, though? Billy Gibbons oh, uses Bill. eight seven. and seven strings. It's impossible. I mean, yeah, how do you keep that in two? How do you play a seven I have, E? I, I have a box of them. I do too. Are they called Old Granddad or something? No, they're, they're called... Reverend um, Willie G. Yeah, uh, they're called the how best How does he tone. do that? It says Made in Mexico and it says... Uh, oh, he's great. And I love how he plays. Says, I, what does it say in the package? Oh I, I, it, I tried it and I went like... <laughs> I love how he plays. But he's he, great. Well, he's a master. He's killer. But you guy know, never has to go past the seventh, fifth, seventh fret. What? He plays light these days. You know, he used to play at elevens, twelves, thirteen. And what did Albert King play in the thirteen? But Albert's the three hundred pounds. What's his last name? King. Okay. But he was also well, six foot five, three hundred yeah, pounds. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I couldn't even move his strings. It'd be like. But a lot of those guys played. But heavy see, strings. that's what turned Stevie Ray Vaughan onto a heavier. But string. they tuned down though. It was Albert. Yeah. A half a step. Fat sound. Uh, half a step. Oh, they do. I thought you it was a that. full step. Half. Yeah. Yeah. One half step. I had a buddy of mine named Ted Green who was uh, one of the great jazz guitar it. players of all time. And what he would do is he was known for playing the Kelly and he would play like maybe 13s or 14s, you know, as a high E string, and he tuned it down to D or C and just made it sound like a big arch top guitar. And, you know, Telly is one of the most versatile guitars. It ever. is. Well, did I, this is my introduction to Ted Green. I'm walking in, and this is like in the 80s, and I'm like all, now I'm not a drug person, I'm just hyper wild, you know? So I walk, I see this nerdy That's guy, crazy. This, crazy. I see this nerdy guy sitting in the stool facing the wall going, I go, he's playing a telly, I said, is that, the, is that the radio or is he actually playing George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue on the Telecaster? I'm playing all the parts. Well, playing all the parts, yes. Yeah, he was, it was like, dun, 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 I go. That I did not. I went over, I said, that, that's his own, and he was kind of, he was lovely, very shy. Yeah. Like he used to give guitar he, lessons at starting at two in the morning. So I'd show up like after a date at three in the morning, like. <laughs> I didn't know what that. Was. And the first <laughs> date, no, it was no, no. For the first lesson was that was the only lesson I ever took because I had no idea what he's talking about. He had this. He goes now, Frank, on the tonic on the, and he he could play every chord known and not go past the fifth fret. 
everything. He knew every and inversion. Every inversion, inversion ever recorded. And, every and I'm was, sitting there like, I'm just sitting there like, do you remember like your first day in algebra? I said, I'm done. I was told. Totally Pi, this. Yeah, I yeah. said, I'm a musician. I don't know, get paid in isosceles triangles and numbers. Hey, listen, bro, you owe me pi equals square. You know what I'm saying? What is that all about, by the way? Well, what, I, I don't know, like? but algebra for a musician doesn't work. When, when are you going to get paid in trigonometry? Hey, man, how much you owe me? Hey, man. How much you had and how many came through the door? That's, that's right. Yeah. Is, yeah, exactly. So that's what it's like with Ted Green. He was so advanced. In, and there, and he's taught some serious guys that say I, I can't do it. I mean, great players yeah, to go. Andy I, Summers, Jay Graydon, all the all no, the was, yeah, yeah, LA yeah. guys. You know, yeah. he, he was the rain man of guitar. I mean, he was, he was just so advanced. And I was sitting there trying to really go. Yeah, man. Okay. I had not a clue. I just said, man, it's great. How much you owe you, man? <laughs> and we said fifteen sat, bucks, fifteen fifteen dollars or like ten dollars. So and I'm sitting there. This you, is like a Pat Martino brain. Yeah. So if you had it to do now. Everything you know, what would you do? I'd still be an idiot. I still wouldn't. I'd still take one lesson. I couldn't. I'd completely. You would watch idiot. his hands the whole time. No, you couldn't figure that. I, I'm really bad at that. I I think I have like. What your eyes don't. Scan no, my brain well, is who, off. Who taught you? Because you do no voicings and stuff like that. So I mean, obviously. You know what? I, I think just watching, like, listening to the stuff, and and when we were kids, and he'll he'll tell you, the big thing was chord melody. We'd remember, like the guys would like yeah, Nick Lucas. Did. They would accompany himself. They go like to them, my darling, please wait for me. That's right. Till then, as this he did it, I love. Well, then I hold you again. Please wait. But that, that we listened that to Nick Lucas. Good. That was good. Yeah. 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 Hey, no. Hey, the so don't quite look like I don't know if I can play as good as uh, Snoop Dogg, but uh, you know, you know I'm what? tired of hearing you freaking guys play a song. Maybe all three of you guys just see if you can do something that we you all can kind of figure out. I got a jazz box. Play Wake got Up, Little Susie, or something that on this guitar. He can be called Frank, Frank. I can be called not so Frank. And have a great summer to, to the people that like me, to the other ones. <laughs> what? Get he's back. A, he's a good uh, guy. No, I'm a good guy. He's but the other guys, fantastic. don't stuff your face with ring dings, all right? All right, see ya. <laughs>